Hello and welcome to the Diplomatic Missile. So today we will be taking a look at the alpha for a game that I think is a very large amount of potential in the future. This game is called Stonehalf, and it says here it's an alpha 1, but it's actually an alpha release 27, that's the dev release. So this is a city builder, RTS, set in a Minecraft-like world, and that has some of my favourite mechanics and games all combined together. So let's jump straight into it. Up here we have our settings. We have enable vertical sync, full screen, anti-aliasing level, shadow detail and draw distance. And it also says our graphics card and compatibility profile context. Not sure what that is. Just adds up for people on 920 by 1080 p monitors like I have. When I enable full screen and try to restart the game, it doesn't just doesn't want to load from Steam. And I have to go into the .json file and manually configure it. So just adds up for people on that because it may happen to you, it may not. I do not know. So let's get straight into this game. Click new game. Now this loading and generation process does take a while. So I'm going to stop the recording here and start it again when we're in the world. Hello and welcome back. So this is the stone half world that is randomly generated when you start a new game. So first we need to find a suitable place to place our settlers. So we, ha we need to find berries, which are the only food resource at the moment. And we need a place with wood, which is obviously all of these hundreds and hundreds of trees so let's find a suitable place as you can see the world here is quite big at the moment but obviously it's going to get a lot bigger as the updates go on this looks like a suitable spot here we've got a large amount of berries and trees so if we click this banner here and place there we are so these are our settlers these will do our work for us and we shall place a stockpile here that sh shall serve to place our wood and everything in. So then down here we have our building menu. So if we go to structures, we have a wall loop and a simple room. Unfortunately, both of these are quite buggy at the moment and can crash your game quite easily. So I'm not going to build either of them. But what we can do here is we can place a workshop, a carpenter's workshop, where we can promote one of our settlers to become a carpenter. So we set a carpenter stockpile one of our little men will take a piece of wood and build it for us if we click on each one of these we can click on a tree or a berry we'll get these little icons and if you click on one and click on this one they will go and gather these resources and put them in the stockpile so now our carpenter is done you can see this is ready for um, promotion so we can choose a citizen of our choice to become a carpenter so if we click on send John Dull and click to approve, she shall go and become a carpenter with a neat little animation here that is being a bit laggy for some reason. Here we are. So if we click on the carpenter's workbench, we can go into the crafting menu. Now here we can make picket fence, picket fence gate, simple wooden chair, cathedral, ar cathedral arch chair, a table for one, a dining table, a mean bed, and a comfy bed. I believe at the moment the comfy bed, I believe you can't get wool at the moment, which is a shame, so you can't make these. Also, you can make a wooden practice sword and a wooden buckler. So we're going to make a wooden practice sword. And as you can see, he will go and take the wood to the carpenter's workshop. So if we now go and gather some more wood and some more berries, uh, settlers are going to need some food. As you can see, our carpenter is now ferrying wood back and forth to make this practice sword. And yeah, I think this is a really neat AI system. And obviously, it's got large amounts of bugs and problems with it. But Alpha, R27 release, you can't go too wrong with that, can you? And I think this game's got a large amount of potential for it in the future. It's aired for release in September 2014, so. A bit later this year, it will be coming out officially, or expected to be coming out officially. Here we can see this one practice sword has now been made. So if we click on the practice sword, we have a practice sword now. We can also, this is one of the new additions from the last update, if we click on each settler, we can have a look at the character sheet. Now this will tell us the details about our character. Obviously then we've actually got a portrait here unfortunately. But... We have personality, they're beleaguered and they're a leader. Their traits and birthday have not been added yet. They have their latest journal, 
and their attributes. They have three mind, two body, and two spirit. I've got diligence, curiosity, and all of their different attributes, which I think is a really neat feature. So if we go into the crafting menu once again, we can build a dining table. So if we craft one now, our man will go and, or woman, will go and put it in the crafter's workshop and craft it for us. So yes, it's a really, really good AI system. I think it's going to be really well implemented. And this this art style where it's just all a little blocks that I believe is made in Cubicle Constructor, going by their live streams, is just really cool. And I think it's going to be a great game when it comes out officially. So as you can see in the corner, it's now getting a night time. In case you're wondering, down here, this is a CPU usage bar for the developers to see how the how much CPU usage is going on. So the green is the unused space, and this is the CPU space. So if I zoom out here, it may lag a little bit for you. As you can see, the CPU usage does go up quite a lot. I'm going to zoom back in. So as we can see, it's still gathering wood. Now once this turns night time, they can light the campfire and we'll sit around it. So we can also place this dining table like that. And one of our men will go and place the dining table. We can also make a couple of beds that require three wood resource each. So we make a couple of them. And as you can see, our settler has now placed the dining table. And I think this is going to... It's going to be a really cool system. So you're going to be able to build your houses, your rooms, your different classes. Have you, all of them working together as an economy. There's going to be battles, giants, titans, elementals. And there's also apparently going to be multiplayer co-op. As this was kickstarted and they made nearly 500% increase on what they expected to get. So this was fairly heavily backed and I think it's going to turn out to be a great game. And here we are. They're now sitting around the campfire. And our carpenter is still working diligently in the background to make someone a bed. Let's place the bed. Um, place the bed here. And, yeah, that's kind of all there is in the alpha at the moment. So if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you're interested in more um, alpha release builds on Stonehalf or any of my other videos. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and bye.